All right, let's go over gold. gold. I mean, crude first, and we'll go over gold. Okay, what we want to do, guys and gals, here's how our templates are set up. I got my market profile right here, my black, uh, black chart, my volume and price profile. My volume is the most important on this chart. They're solid lines. Solid blue is a control point. We just had a beautiful trade this morning off of it and off of uh, gold to the exact tick, actually, right off this control point. All right, the blue is the most important on overlapping off of these trades. Equally, but you can equally, actually equally weight these uh, solid red and solid green. Solid reds, high value area, solid greens, low value. So these are volume profile based. Okay, it doesn't matter if it comes down later because it's confluence off of the sim value. I'll go over it, lady. It gives you confluence. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at solid blue, solid red, solid green. Okay, these are the volume profiles. The dotted profiles are more price based. Price based profiles. We had a trade right here this morning off price profile and J signal, the, the Fibonacci dots. So those are the two trade setups. What I have in the background are my long-term profiles. You'll see them. You'll see little red dots right there, little red dots. You see the little red, little red right here. All right. What happened today with the SIM profiles, what we do is we break down. We broke down below profile. You can see we broke below it. This was rejected off my long-term profiles right here. You can see high value was broken. High value was broken. Two high values were broken, right? Two high values were broken. So what we want to do is we want to break, we want to retest. Now you're right on top of that high value area. You want to look for negative market delta, negative market delta. You want to pop in the trade of negative market delta. So once that fires off, we'll look for negative market delta. Negative market delta happened right here. Here's our negative market delta. And it was negative all the way down to That's my long-term value right there, my little small little red. That's a beautiful trade with trend. All right? So. Here's we got a break, we got a retest. All right, here's your break, retest, negative market delta. Then it comes up to my price profile. Now look what happened on my price profile. My price profile, consequently, that's why these charts are beside each other. My price profile had my Fibonacci dots fire at the same time. When I did this video, it's about an hour video of live data ticking. I'm commentating in the back. You'll see a lot of these setups where my profile chart will match up with my J signal chart and you'll see some big hits off this this is my line in the sand for confluence but you'll notice I, I broke down I retested I'm re resting right on my price control consequently at the same time at the same price point in time I'm resting on my line in the sand at the same time I have my pulling bar so what we're doing here guys and gals we're going left to right I've got my Great support and resistance. These two charts will show all my profiles. I got four profiles we work off of. I got my volume profiles, which are the solid lines. I got my dotted profiles, which are the price base lines. I got my long term, which is little small little dots in there, you'll see. And then I've got my developing profile over here on J signal. Now we know with J signal, it's a trade all by itself if you break down through LVA and take the first retracement. Watch how these two line up, and that's why if I were you, this is how I got my chart set up on all my markets. I would set up the template like this. It's left to right analysis. I don't care about market delta over here. Market delta means absolutely nothing, and I'm telling you this to new traders because new traders do not understand this. I don't care about market delta unless I get set up on these two setup charts. I don't care about market delta until these two charts set me up with confluence. You must understand that, and I, I feel this is a great way for new traders and existing traders to understand the concept better. It's left to right analysis. The first thing you're going to do in this black chart is look for trend. We have a trend filter built in. The trend filter is this big magenta line. If it's angled down, that's the first thing you look at when you first log in the trading room. If it's angled down, you are taking shorts. You are not taking longs. So if it's angled down, we're looking for short retracements off my Fibonacci retracements, and we're looking for short retracements off breaking through value, retesting value. So what happened is, is the market came down and broke my long-term value. It got rejected here twice. Rejection, rejection. It broke through. I love seeing uh, candles close below it and then retest it, and then it retested. 
Once it retested my long-term value here, we got a negative market delta. Look at the negative market delta over here. Negative market delta got us in the trade. Your stop loss on market delta is two ticks above the swing high. Then the market comes down and breaks down through my low value area and retests my control. Consequently, at the same time, my J signal, it had broke down below its developing profile. Anytime you get below developing, it weakens the market. You look for the first retracement. As my fib dots start printing, look at market delta over here. Market delta starts to do what? It starts to turn green, showing positive buyers. We got buyers all the way up when these fib dots are red. So as the red fib dots are firing off, I've got my green, 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 green. Then I'm looking for a red bar close on market delta. When I show you this hour video on live tick data in all these markets that I trade, you're going to see this setup happens exactly the same way in all markets. doesn't matter what it is. You'll see the trend filters down. You'll break through value, retest value on my black charts. At the same time, you'll have a Fibonacci retracement, and that gives you confluence. And then also you have market delta pop you in. So when you're doing this, it's left to right analysis. You have profiles setting you up with trend. Then you have the J signal that will give you support and resistance. Now remember, this black line is a volatility line. It's my line in the sand. It will give you confluence. So this will give you confluence on your trade setup right here. This will give you confluence. Now check this out. Look how cool this is. Look at my Fibonacci dots on both setups. They both conclude with my J signal. All right? Because over here, if you look where the circle is, this eclipse, that break of value, retest of value, was exactly a red Fibonacci dot at the high, then negative market delta. Look at the second one. I break down through low value. I retest the control, right? I retest the control, and then consequently, I've got red Fibonacci dots right at my line in the sand, which is resistance. I go over this in the video when, when, when it's ticking live for you. I go to the video on a Russell 2000 trade that was huge this week um, that Earl's talking about. I had a real big trade on the Russell like this where you broke through value, retest the line in the sand, broke through LVA, had negative market delta, and it just fell apart. Had what, a big one on the S&P where these three charts lined up like that also. It was over 20 points on the S&P. So you'll be getting that video out to you guys and gals, you members. All you members will be getting a video out. It's an hour video. And I made it loop, so you can just let it play, replay. Gerald's going to make it loop. You can replay it over and over again. And you can see uh, I put all the markets in it. You can see how these all line up. Okay? So that's what we're doing here, guys and gals. We look at the trend filter. Trend filter's down. We're selling retracements. We let profile break. Let it retest. See if J signal lines up to give us confluence. Right? J signal's two for two this morning since 7 o'clock this morning. It's two for two. Market profile is two for two this morning with J signal. Market delta is two for two this morning since seven o'clock. You couldn't have lost on a trade even if you tried this morning on crude. There's no way you can lose this morning because they both hit your targets on market delta. Because negative market delta turned red, it turned red at resistance, at resistance, at resistance, and then you got your first targets off. Okay? Cheryl, go to gold real quick. Gold the same way. All right? All right, if you look at gold, if you look at gold, gold in a downtrend this morning, like I said, the control point is a really nice little level to look for. Right there's a control point, came up to it. We had negative market delta at 8 o'clock this morning. At 8, if you look, look at this negative market delta in gold. Check out gold. Let me blow this up for you. Look at this negative market delta, how this sucker called that high, and it was all the way down. Look at this. Look at negative market delta. There it is. Just after 8 o'clock, negative market delta, 83.60 was a fill. It was red all the way down to 77 and a half. 86 down to 77, pretty much, uh, all, all me, I mean, uh, 84, uh, what was it, 83.60, I'm sorry, 83.60, all the way down to 77, almost $600 trade potential on that last gold move. All negative market delta, and it was in a retracement short, okay? So use these profiles for resistance. Use these profiles for resistance. Use J signal where it's Fibonacci dots, and when they both line up, you got a nice little move. Okay? Nice little move. All right?